Welcome to the Podcast Playbook, where we amplify your voice, amplify your business, and amplify your impact. We are Amplify You. Let's go. Podcast metrics. What a wild west. There is so much information out there and nobody knows exactly how it's all calculated. And to be honest, some of the biggest players in the podcast game They do not even agree on what metrics help establish the quality, the impact, and the reach of your show. For instance, Apple has released stats that says they do not actually track your downloads or your reviews. They're looking for new activity on your show. That's a share. That's a new subscriber. Whereas Spotify, they're more interested in just your downloads. They want to know how many people have listened, and that's how they rank. And then we have listen notes. One of the most trusted sources across the pod space uh, allows people to get a global score and a listener on a listener score and a global reach. They've said that their metrics are considered popularity metrics. And from what we've seen, the more reviews you have, the higher you rank in their popularity metrics. So if the biggest players in the game can't agree on what metrics determine whether or not you are a success, you can't satisfy all of them. In fact, My recommendation is you define your own version of success and you allow that to define what impact you are having and if your show is a success for you. I'd like to propose to you five separate unique approaches to redefine what podcast success means in terms of business impact. First, we're going to talk about building authentic connections. Don't chase a million listeners. Focus on cultivating a smaller action-taking fan base. The only thing better than a million downloads is a hundred listeners who take you up on your offer to work with you. Forge connections that go beyond passive listenership. Listenership. Ooh, that's a tough word. Create a community that actively engages and even advocates for your brand. In today's market, Referral and recommendations from friends goes a long way. So create fans that want to talk about you to others. Another version of success is allowing a podcast to expand your reach. Podcasting can be a gateway to unique networking opportunities. In this space, I've been attending virtual networking groups and I'm meeting people around the world, many of whom have a podcast or want to be on a podcast. Inviting them as a, to have a platform to share their stories and ideas. I'm able to connect with this individual, learn how their business operates, and see if there's opportunities for us to work together, whether referring clients to each other or partnering on a joint venture partnership. We've also had podcasters who have used their platform as a way to open the door to access high-level executives that they want to work with. Instead of having to ask the administrator for an appointment on their books, they invite an executive to share their genius on their podcast platform. This allows you to develop the relationships with individuals that you want to work with or that they can introduce you to your next ideal client. Another layer of success for your podcast is to simplify your content creation. You know, these days having to learn the new TikTok dance moves so you can fit in with the trend and maybe show up on somebody's for you page or, you know, the right filters to use on Instagram. And are we even using photos on Instagram anymore? Or are we just writing stories? on a photographic screen. Trying to keep up with these things is pretty challenging. But instead, if you utilize podcasting as your content generation hub, then I propose to you that you put a one hour calendar block and press record. Share what's most exciting about your business world. What's happening in your industry? What are the questions you're always asking for your clients? From this one hour of recording, You not only have a podcast episode that can go out as a standalone podcast, we can take that information and we can break it down into your TikTok reels, your Instagram reels, your Facebook posts. You can use the transcript as a blog post, turn it into a newsletter article for your LinkedIn profile. There's many different ways of utilizing that one hour of recording. When you share your genius, we can simplify getting it to people in bite-sized manageable pieces. And you also have a show. You have a platform where you can then go meet 
new and fun, interesting people. I've worked with podcasters who admittedly, their show is not a metric success, meaning each month they're putting out a weekly episode and they're getting less than 500 downloads per month. However, they've identified their show as a huge financial success. The reason being those download numbers are not meeting their, not part of their metrics. However, the people that they're having on their show as guests are learning enough about the host's business, the host's coaching practice, that when they leave that interview, they are a fan. When they go home, they are referring their friends and their clients to this individual as a coach. So over the course of two years, this individual has counted over seven figures of referral business based off of people he's interviewed on his podcast. So being a successful podcaster doesn't mean you have the highest number of downloads, doesn't mean you have the most listeners, the biggest fan base, those ads that need to go everywhere. You don't need to compete with Joe Rogan. You don't need to compete with anybody. This is you broadcasting your unique mission. Allow that to attract people to your business. Determine what success means to you. Use that to track your, met your metrics because you are already a success. Oh, you are still here. I'm honored. Thank you. If you're ready to take the next step, go grab the podcast playbook. It's free. AmplifyU.com. Every step you need is there. And if we can help, don't be afraid to reach out. Happy potting.